Hey everyone, Ken again, um, second part of this PowerPoint tutorial. Um, so in this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use PowerPoint to create some custom shapes. Um, and again, I'm gonna use the 3D star map as an example. Uh, so if you look at the stars here, uh, from a distance, they may kind of look like just circles, but if you look at some of the larger ones, they got, they, they have this sort of hazy look. And if I do the vision tooltip, um, you can get a closer look at that sort of hazy, um, it looks like a star, um, but it's not a simple circle. And I created a custom shape in PowerPoint, uh, to create that, that look. So I'm going to show you how to do that in PowerPoint. Uh, so uh, here is that custom shape that I had built, and I'm going to show you how to, how to do that yourself. Um, so the first thing is we're going to insert a circle shape. Now one little trick is that if you want uh, a circle or a square to be uh, the same height as the same as width, then if you hold Shift and drag, it'll give you that perfect circle there. Um, if you weren't to hold shift, then you'd have to kind of arrange that ellipse to make it perfectly um, exactly the way you want it. So I'm going to start with a really st small little circle. Um, I'm going to turn off the outline, no outline. I'm going to fill it with black. Now the trick to get getting this hazy look are these shape effects. So shape effects are really neat. You have lots of different options. You can choose from some presets, so some beveling, um, which I pretty much never use. Um, you can do shadowing, which is a nice little effect in some cases. Uh, reflection, I've used I've used more on titles than with custom shapes, but it gives a nice uh, little effect. But the key one we're going to use here is glow. So I'm going to just choose this larger blue glow at first. You can see it kind of gives that a little bit of that hazy look. Um, but if I go back up to glow and do more more glow colors, well, let's just do glow options and we can select everything uh, ourselves. So we get this little panel over here to the right. Uh, first I'm going to change it to black um, and then I'm going to increase the size uh, pretty significantly. So let's take it something like that um, and then I'm going to reduce the transparency so that it sort of blends in with that middle or circle uh, pretty well and there we have a little custom shape that looks almost the same as uh, as the one we created before so again as in with the title we'll right click on it to save as picture um, from here, we'll save it. You can go right out to uh, your documents folder, your Tableau repository in the shapes file, and just save that picture right into the shapes file. Then when you reload your custom shapes in Tableau, you'll see that uh, new shape uh, and be able to use it in your visualization. Um, so uh, definitely recommend getting into PowerPoint, trying, around, trying out uh, some of these different uh, shape options and you know creating just that perfect uh, custom shape for what you're trying to do thanks